Thanks, Gran. The Super Loud 2. Special Extra Loud Edition with added loudness. Loud, then. Comes with these industrial strength earplugs. Fantastic! Let's try it out, eh? It'll have to wait, Dennis. I promised Walter we would be the test audience for his lecture. Walter? Lecture? Oh. Well, of course, the very few of us here who are as smart as I will know that the process is called photosynthesis. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed my talk on the science of flowers. Bertie, if you please. Great! Is it over? Until tomorrow at assembly, yes. This was just a dress rehearsal. You say something? Come on, Nasha. We've got a brand new amp and a world waiting to complain. Now, let their ears beg for mercy. Din -din -din! <laughs> Go bouncy castle! Sorry, B. Band practice. Got senses to assault, you know. Din -din bouncy castle now! Oh, B. <laughs> oh, no, for no, 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 Me, windy beans today. <gasps> oh, forget it, B. Me music comes first. Now we go bouncy castle. It's just not fair. I always have to give in to B. Yeah, her bottom's unbeatable. Or is it? Quick! Sooner we get our gear up into the treehouse, the better. Ten, ten. Yay, park now! Ain't gonna happen, B. <laughs> Me need windy beans. <laughs> Take my windy beans! Come on, tin makers. Let's get set up. OK, then. Ready to rock? Yeah. Just got to plug in and... Hey! Where's the volume knob? The volume knob on my amp's gone! Maybe it's invisible, then. No. I know exactly who did this. Give me that volume knob, B. Then, then, give me windy beans! No way! OK. Me hide, nubby nub. No! Oh! What? Me glad who's here, bouncy pals. <laughs> Hi, Tooth. Uh, uh, Thanks, Jakes. <laughs> OK. Got poo poo nappies. Squirty milk milk. Scary faces. <laughs> Now, me tell plan. Can't we just go and look for the volume knob? And leave the beans unprotected? No, she only needs one can. We have to let B make the first move. <laughs> ah! What was that? Yuck! Okay, lads, get the light bulb. Just give us the location of the volume knob and you can go. Okay, have it your way. Curly, bring me the soap and water. It's bath time. <gasps> Then, then, got me. Time for 
secret weapon. Okay, you leave me no choice. Tell us where the volume knob is, or I will give you a kiss. No, <gasps> Dennis, no! I know what I'm doing, Curly. No! Okay, me tell. Ugh. Me head knob. Walter, Dennis will be your flower. <gasps> no! Good morning, children. At today's assembly, we have an extra special treat for you. Just think floral, Dennis. Now let's go check our props, Dudley. And don't think you can dodge this, Dennis. I'll be watching. Me? Thought you were grounded. Me escape. Me sorry, Den Den. Yeah, me too, B. Me help. How? In three minutes' time, Beano Town's biggest menace will be Beano Town's biggest laughing stock. So, unless you know how to empty a school hall in under. <gasps> of course! B, your bottom can empty any room in seconds. But no beans! Yeah, they're all still in the treehouse, and Dad's boarded that up. All right, team, on stage, please. <gasps> Wait! Master, master! For Den Den! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, a spotlight and a full house. What more could one want? <laughs> Paper bag. Think I'm going to puke. So, without further ado, let us raise the curtain on... <laughs> Oopsie. Once B brings that volume knob, this new amp is finally gonna rock Beano Town! Glad you two aren't fighting now. Yeah, we're a good team. Yep, you're a sis in a million, B. B's got a nubby nub nub! Great! Where'd you hide it then? Oh, brilliant! Disgusting, but brilliant! Excuse me, but don't you think that's a little loud? Loud? Hey! Oh, no, 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 carry on. Uh, my mistake. Oh, oh sorry, Dad. I didn't see you. Quite all right, Dennis. Nothing can spoil my mood today. I've got some good news. Promoted. 
I'm the new Deputy Assistant Supervisor of Sticky Tape. That's brilliant, dear. Yes, once I've done the Sticky Tape training course, it'll all be confirmed. I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, I hope so. There's one other thing, though. The new job's in a different part of the company, in Drano Town. What? Drano Town's a dump! Well, yeah, it's certainly too far to commute. We'll have to move. Move? We can't move! We like it here, don't we, Nasha? <laughs> and in Drano Town, we'll be able to afford a better house. But there's nothing wrong with this house. It's as solid as a rock. That'd be nice. Though we'd have to sell this one first. And, and another thing. What about Curly and Pieface? All me friends are here in Beano Town. Oh, don't be silly, Dennis. You can always make new friends. Anyway, dear, well done. Drano Town, here we come. Huh. We'll see about that. Enjoy your course. <gasps> oh, good news, Colonel. Dennis is moving. So I see. Well, it'll certainly make the job of the neighbourhood watch a lot easier. <laughs> I'll say. According to my calculations, we spend 89.6% of our time chasing Dennis. Indeed. But let's not count our chickens. Dennis is a Beano Town boy through and through. I don't think he's going to go quietly. <laughs> I'm just off to the shops, Dennis. OK, Mum. And remember, the estate agent will be bringing people to look at the house later. So just stay out of the way, OK? <laughs> Curly, alert Pie Face and get on over here. It's time for Operation Stay Put. Yeah, here we are. It's a nice, quiet neighbourhood, as you can see. Oh, I hope so. When I meditate, I must have the right vibrations. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. This garden is speaking to me. It will be my peaceful sanctuary. Yes. Okay, boys! One, two, three, four! Uh, but you did say you wanted uh, uh, vibrations. <laughs> nice work, boys. She won't be moving in any time soon. Uh, garden's not bad. A bit tame for my liking. OK, hold your noses, everyone. Here goes. One of me own patented extreme stinker stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I like to get out in the fresh air and get back to nature. Oh, what's that? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's completely natural. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dennis is trying to put people off buying his house, is he? Time to mobilise the Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee. Now, as quickly as you can, deploy the sticky tape to create the perfect parcel. Now... <coughs> <gasps> you know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. <gasps> oh, the kennel garden. Oh, she's scary. Yeah, but she's got one weakness. Her pet chihuahuas. <laughs> Yeah, this is it, Mrs. Uh, Barkington Wagstaff. I think you'll find it's uh, deceptively spacious. Well, it looks nice from the outside, but is there enough room for my little babies? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nasha. Now! <laughs> <laughs> Nasha. <laughs> I've got 
Aren't you little fellows? Oh, no! Not so fast yet, chap. It's Walter and the Colonel. They're going to ruin everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't mention it, madam. It's what the neighbourhood watch is for, isn't it, Colonel? Of course. We always like to look out for our little doggy friends. Even monsters like that one? Oh, don't worry about him, madam. He'll be gone when they move. Hmm, I see. Well, with dog-loving neighbours like you, this might be just the house for us. <laughs> Shall we have a look inside? Don't worry, Jen. We'll come and visit you in Drano Town. That's not even funny, Pie Face. No, it's not. And anyway, I'm not beaten yet. I'll think of something. I'm just calling your father. Oh, hello, dear. How's the course going? Oh, uh, quite well, I think. Marvellous. So what time will you be back? About four o'clock. I am looking forward to coming home. Me too, dear. See you later. Oh. Dad will be back at four. He's looking forward to coming home. We've got to do something to convince Dad to stay here, Nasha. But what? <laughs> Hang on. Mum says he's looking forward to coming home. Maybe if he got a really big welcome back, he wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, we could sing a song and, and put a banner up and... No, wait. I've got an even better idea. The kennel warden likes the house, Nasha. She's coming to look at it again at four o'clock. But I'm going to make sure she doesn't buy it. I've got a foolproof plan. <laughs> Just as I thought, Walter's fallen for it. Red alert, Colonel. The kennel warden's looking at Dennis's house again at four o'clock. Excellent news, Walter. Yes, but the trouble is, Dennis is planning to put her off. Don't worry, Walter. He's not the only one with a plan. We'll make sure she stays and Dennis goes. Four o'clock. That'll be her. Right then. Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee, quick march! Just as I thought, Nasha, Walter and the Colonel are pulling out all the stops. Welcome, Committee, roll out, red carpet! What a lovely cake! A red carpet, too! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Dad! Welcome home! Hello, son. How have you been? You know what, Dennis? I was already having second thoughts about that job. And now, to come home to a welcome like this... Well, how could we possibly live anywhere else? Result! Well, sticky tape's not all it's cracked up to be. And let's face it, I'm a rubber band man at heart. You don't mind not moving, do you? Of course not. If you're happy to stay here, so am I. No place like home, eh, Dad? Exactly, son. There's no place like home. for them to do the park up. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hang on. Where's 
all the fun stuff. Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved cos it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! <laughs> on me head, pie face! I got it, I got it! Come on, this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with Parky Bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies be picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> This is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Dance your game, Dennis. Don't push your luck. Chess in the park. Rally the troops. Fire cannons. Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park. Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Are those park daisies, madam? Oh, um, um... No battles! I'm not having it! Now, clear off, or I'll have the law on a lot of you. Go on! You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? Dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Well, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <gasps> it's a pond! Oh my! <laughs> it's a pond monster! <laughs> <laughs> Ten boys! <gasps> this can't happen! Not on the first day! Oh, hey, get back! Here! Can't you see the signs? <laughs> <laughs> That's fixed him! Full speed ahead! <gasps> are all about. Come on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that football game we've waited a year for. Right then, time for kickoff. Did you see the monster, young man? Monster? Uh... Oh, hang on. There's Walter and Parky Bowles. Walter, how does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of a monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowls, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. 
You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go. How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words, this is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes. Thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parky. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> we crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation, then, eh? Oh, what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here ah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Oh, well, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. <laughs> Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this Hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why's mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see. Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Yeah, trying to trash my lovely park. Is Parky Bowls right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxes. Gosh, looks like you were right, Parky Bowls. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. You're right, Nasha. We've lost the colonel. Yeah, you see? This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains. And... What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on! Over there! There's something in the bushes! This tin cane doesn't even have flippers! <laughs> you mean flippers like those? <laughs> yes! Exactly like that! <laughs> ah! <A monster>! <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from Beano Town Park! There are real live monsters here! Stay away from Beano Town Park! Leg it! <laughs> I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds. <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back. And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either. No, indeed. <laughs> oh, that mangy cur. Scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Dennis and Nasha the Wonder Dog will perform their most daring stunt. A leap across Devil's Gulch. Oh, oh, Nasha, where are 
for you. Where are you going with that? Nash has already got a kennel, thanks. For your information, this is a hut. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. This is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats? These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. It's a dog's life, uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Den? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best kept dog in the world. <laughs> Fluff, we don't bite. Nasha, no! Oh no, Dennis, what have you done? No problem, Mum. Watch this. Nasha! Hey boy, Nasha! Nasha, stop! Yes, these lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. By all that's khaki, I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables. Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? <sighs> Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty. <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly! Pie face! See anything? Yes! Good! Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! Oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Well, yeah, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <laughs> Cherry, nice, eh? Hmm. But this one, oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him, same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out, he's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> and a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? Yes. <laughs> You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how you Agreed then, Mum. Nash's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasher. <laughs> now then, remember, quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. Here, 
Sasha, keep these out of sight. <laughs> Oh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good, because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll... Uh... Hop after him! Fluff! I mean, Nasher! Here, boy! Oh, look at my glasses! Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens! Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh, there's no need. <laughs> they went behind the shed. Good, there's no escape. Leave it to me. Like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No, sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. Oh. <laughs> Give them to me. Silly <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. Oh no! We'll never find him now! Wait a minute, Jane, look! Hold on, Fluff, we'll save you! I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre, but I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> It's your favourite, seaweed and spinach. Look, Dad, he's heading for that tree. A job for Nasher. Yuck! Bad rabbit, bad boy. <laughs> Pierre, I didn't mean it. Come back. <laughs> Fluff, jump. Dennis and Nasher. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing, really. And it looks like Nasher helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian white haired tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Uh huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Good. Well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him! He's traumatised! Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre-rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. I think he likes you. <laughs> oh boy, what's Walter up to now? You can fashion paper into objects of exquisite beauty. Objects of beauty? 
Hmm, good. And also give your enemies a good scare. Ah! Huh? Scare my enemies? Ha! Huh, even better! One more lesson and you will be a black belt in origami. Ah, ha! If anyone messes with me now, they'll feel the wrath of my flying rabbit! Not to mention my dancing giraffe! Ha! Ah! There was this big shadow on his window, like a rabbit or something. Maybe Walter's turned into a rabbit. He's always eating lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? You know, with my origami hawk. <laughs> origami? Isn't that making flowers out of paper napkins? That's just for beginners. I do the martial arts version. I am the prince of paper. The phantom of the fold. The oligarch of origami. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care what sort of ollie what's it you are. That stuff's for wussies. My martial art's much better. Oh, really? And which martial art would that be? It's called, um, uh, dendo. <laughs> Very impressive. Told you. Ha! Better than your paper folding any time. How about a little contest then? Morning break on Thursday. Origami versus Dendo. Okay. Bring it on. <laughs> Most important thing in martial arts. You got to know how to fall. So, what's Dendo then, Den? I've never heard of it. Ah, yes. Uh, that's because it's secret, Pie Face, known only to a select few. Well, just me, really. So, explain it to me again, Den. You reckon with this Dendo, you'll be able to take on Walter in a martial arts contest? Come off it, Curly. It's Walter. I'll uh, brush up on some of the finer points. And I know just the right sparring partner. <laughs> that's, that's right, Nasha. You've got to concentrate. There's more to Dendo than meets the eye. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll go easy on you. hi -ya! Beginners look, Nasha. And anyway, you can't just jump out of the way. I've really got to fine-tune me dendo skills, or I'll look like an idiot in front of Walter. All right, let's try again. Hiya! Now you must prepare for the ultimate origami challenge. I'm ready, Master. First, you fold the paper like this, and this. Like this, and this. And then... <laughs> you have created the mightiest weapon of origami. The fearsome pecking duck. Yes, I've got it. <laughs> the pecking duck. Now, you truly are a black belt in origami. But remember, as the sensei has said, a little pecking is a dangerous thing. Yes. Yes, a dangerous thing. Peck, peck. <laughs> you know what, Nasha? Either you'll have to take on Walter, or I'll have to get some help. <laughs> I must consult the one whose words bring light to the unenlightened, the wise one. Dennis! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Gran. Oh, no matter. What can I do for you? Well, the thing is, I've got into this martial arts contest with Walter. Enough. Favourite grandson, I know you have entered into a foolhardy enterprise which could put life and limb at risk. You think? Even though it's only Walter in his soppy origami? Of course. Haven't you ever had a paper cut? Oh, it can really hurt. So... Listen to me carefully. To gain victory, 
You must harmonize with the spirit of the universe. Spirit of the universe? Yeah! You must call upon your inner strength. Inner strength, right. But most importantly, you must enter into this contest at one with the forces of nature. Forces of nature, gotcha. Come, we will consult the writings of the masters. Oh! So, favourite grandson, do you understand what you must do? Even though you will be mocked by your enemies? I understand, oh wise one. No matter what they say, I will be sure to follow the forces of nature. Very well. Go! And shut the door after you! Oh, there's a shocking draught in here! I need more time to prepare, Walter. Make the contest after school on Thursday, instead of morning break. Ha! Huh. Very well. But make sure you turn up. We don't want people thinking you're chicken, <laughs> do we? <laughs> don't worry. I'll be there. I don't get it, then. Why are you letting them get away with that? Don't worry, Pie Face. When the time of battle comes, I will be at one with the forces of nature. Let the contest begin! Water. <laughs> I've just remembered. It's time for after school club. <laughs> Come along, chaps. Looks like there's more to Dendo than I thought. Ugh. That was a close thing, Den. No, it wasn't, Pie Face. I followed the way of Dendo. I was at one with the forces of nature. You mean you knew it was going to rain? Of course I did. Gran told me. There you go, Dennis. The weather forecast says it's going to rain on Thursday afternoon. All you've got to do is switch the contest to then. <laughs> Dennis, you are truly a master of Dendo. Yes, you must school us in its mystic ways. I will, Curly, and together we shall overcome the wusses of origami. Ow! <laughs> Fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Hey! <laughs> now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, 
this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole. Hmm. Okay, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> yeah, doggy, doggy. <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue. And a Pomeranian Puff Crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buzz off! Time for action. Crumbs away! Sorry, Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Hello. What's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, OK. Hmm. This gives me a brain-stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. Uh, he's coming. Operation Destiny, Dennis, is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy, step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Whoa! What's that? I'm out of here! I predict a nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> What? What is it? If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Walter! No! Don't move! I'm coming! I'm coming! It's okay! Catch this! Oops. Bad news! Hooligans! <laughs> <laughs> Typical Dennis. Still causing trouble. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> if just one hair on his head is hurt, You'll be getting your just dessert! 
If I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <gasps> Maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chop chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles! <laughs> no! Leave me alone! Clear off! Leave him alone! Go away! And while one of them was messing about in a boot, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you all you little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, you horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Whoa! Ha ha! What have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well then, that's a that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. No! Oh! <laughs> Bullseye! Yeah. And that's for me lupins. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I, uh, I, uh... I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. <laughs> 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 